hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here my name is esther mofri so in today's video i want to show you how i analyze forex charts and i believe this video you shall learn something from it so if you have not liked this video give it a big thumbs up and if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel kindly consider subscribing so guys without wasting any time let's get down into the video so i usually use tradingview.com to analyze my chart and i i analyze my charts in pair and i have my watch list as you can see here but today i have decided to share with you about gbp audi because that's my favorite pair so far so i'll go directly to gbp audi you can either change it from here you can type the name of the pair that you want to analyze or you can go directly to your watch list so i do it in three ways i have the daily chart you can change the time frame from this place you can see one minute three minutes five minutes 15 all the way to one month you can change it from here and uh, yeah so i use three time frames that is daily and then i use four hours and then I use one hour. And the last one, um, after I get the price action that I want, or maybe there's something or there's an opportunity, I'll now scale down to 15 minutes. So I only use 15 minutes. This is 15 minutes if I want to enter a trade. So 15 minutes, basically, I don't use it to analyze the market so let's get started i'm excited guys i'm excited let's get started let me share with you what i usually do so you can see these are my this is the daily chart this is what happened okay so the first thing that i want to i always check on the trend um, on the chart is what is the trend that's the first thing that you want to check on any trend any why am i saying trend <laughs> That's the first thing that you want to check on every chart. If you just open a chart, just let your eyes want, uh, let your eyes see the trend that is happening. Because if you get it wrong on the trend, you most probably get it wrong even on the entry. So uh, these are the tools on the trade view. So the first thing I come here, it's a call out, and we can maybe say um, what is the trend that's the first thing that you check what is the trend and guys you can see here uh from let's go back because you know we are using previous um previous pattern to help us to be able to understand what the market wants so from around april it has been a downtrend you can see all this is this move a downtrend looks like this this is a downtrend if I, if I use trend line, an uptrend, let me see if I can see an uptrend. An uptrend, when I use this trend line, is something like this. This is an uptrend. But a downtrend is when the price is, from, is moving from the previous swing high to the pre, uh, creating a swing low. That's when we say we have a downtrend. So we establish which trend is this. And uh, yeah. If we know which trend we have, it's one step to getting profits on this market. So as you can see, guys, from April until July, it was a downtrend. Then if I zoom, what's happening here? What is <laughs> what's happening from 4th of August all the way to 7th of September? It is in a consolidation. So you can either have... Let me take this. You can either have a downtrend or you can either have something like this, price going like this, this is an uptrend, or you can have price just not moving anywhere. We call this consolidation. So, yeah, so we, we can see clear, clearly that, that the price, that the price from fall of August all the way to 7th of September, it was in a one place. And I like doing this way. Uh, let me show you a tool. I like putting putting boxes in my, like a small box. Let me see. 
is that car box. I like putting a box on the pre, um, on the place that I think something can happen. So you can see clearly that was that was a a, a consolidation time. So remember, guys, I'm on a higher time frame because this is daily. If we try to magnify this on the four hour chart, we would have we would have um, a way of getting something. So the reason why this looks consolidation is because if someone uses high time frame even for entry, because there are people who use monthly and then they come to daily for entry, they would have avoided such a market because it will not. It was not moving. It was just moving. If I measure this box from the from the down here it was just moving 347 pips so it was like a reversal 347 up down it was like a that kind of movement so but i traded anyway because you see if i see consolidation on daily i want to go to four hours and see what was happening the other thing that you need to understand is that you need to understand what is your what is your highest uh, the highest swing uh, what is your highest price that reached and we can put um, uh, we can try to mark it let me change the color so the price was crazy on April and it went to 2.04. And then you want to see what was the previous, uh, the lowest. So I think it is which one? You see. So you have established two key levels. So because this price is moving down, why is it moving to? That's the, the second thing that you need to understand. So if you have understood what's the trend, you want to understand if it is downtrend, you're now your concentration should be more on where is the price going rather than where is it coming from because you can imagine from here all the way to up here it's more than it's like a thousand more than thousands of people so we need to understand if this price you see this one this sellers are in control so where do they want to take this market so you mark our support so that we know which is the next key area that the sellers want this price to touch and you can see we can have two we can have we can have the three uh 73 because it was touching 75 it reached then it went to 73 then it went to 72 you can even have the 72 and then now the 71. So what I usually do, I don't like putting this black. Instead of the price is 75, it can go to 73. So this is my next key uh, level where I am aiming for the price to like touch and then maybe react because it's a support and it's a strong key level. Yeah, so... After you establish that, now we can try to scale to four hours and see what we can get from here. I would, I would talk about the indicator I use. I only use moving average indicator. As you can see, I use 14 EMA, 8 EMA, and 50 EMA. If you want for me to do a video concerning these indicators, they are very helpful. So this is the black one, is the 50 EMA, very helpful like this video and comment down below i'll do a video on how this 50 ma helps you to always be always be right or it really helps you in your judgment and even in your execution when you want to enter a trade so when i have that let's let's now go to four hour four hour uh, chart so this is our four hour chart as i can try to remove all my ma previous markings uh i was i really studied this pair a lot head there's a place where we had consolidation on daily time frame you can see this there was movement on four hour 
and let, let us put the box that's why i'm saying it's good to work on different time frame so if we put the same box you can see like the price was reversing it was going down touching our 50 ma then reacting then coming down touching whenever it would touch the 50 ma it will go down it will react and we broke the 50 ma and then it was uh, a strong sell for a while let's see how many pips it broke with 180 pips down and then it went up to retest i think this is how that this is how the market usually tells you if it will be a strong move because if you really bought it from here and then it started coming back you would have been stop out if your stop loss was so tight and you see it came and took all the stop losses so but if you have you would have waited for it to break and retest and now um enter the market after now it is retesting see that move so that's the move that's the power of analyzing charts being ahead of time and we'll see let's we'll see the value of the pips that it took from monday so most probably i would have entered i always enter my trades if it has broken 50 ma retested and then gone down so maybe i will have put my trade somewhere here so we come we are sh we are doing a short so you put your short here and maybe you your stop loss will be uh, you can do a one is to three ratio, one is to two, because nobody knew the price will be will drop like this. I won't lie to you. Like you can put your stop loss all that. Uh, you can put your take profit all that far. Everyone has their way of taking profits. Uh, for me, it's one one is to three or one is to two. Maybe I would have taken my profit somewhere there, and it was very easy to get those profits. So that's the four hour chart and I like, uh, and <laughs> that's the four hour chart and then when you are done with the four hour chart, let's say we have seen this move is overstretched. You can see this is so overstretched like the sellers are in control. You can see they are so in control. <sighs> so what we do, we just put a box here. And this price, what I can say, it will go down. It will continue to go down. And as we said, our next place is 73, 72, 71. So I'm aiming for 72 because remember, we have already put our support. Most probably, this price will come to 73. Most probably, it will come to... 73 there's something in forex you don't predict you always react so if on the daily chart on the daily chart it's a clear it's a move if this move it's like there's no indication of this move slowing down because we know that uh, a flat bottom candle means the sellers are in control and as we can measure this in a day it was moving 387 pips so uh but let me tell you this is not the norm of gbp audi it was highly affected by the news that were there last week so i'm so sure or i'm anticipating for this week to be section that is meaning the, the price uh the market or the trend or a reversal i'll be ready to either trade a reversal or continue with the trend then we can go to uh two to the one hour time frame the one hour time frame even if it was this trend you can see there's something unique with the one hour so if you're trending or if you're using one hour chart to analyze the markets already you know these markets are going down and you can see our 50 ama it was used as support and sometimes it broke here and then when it broke on Monday the price started going down and it would make a consolidation and then it goes down a consolidation then goes down a consolidation then 
go down. This was on Thursday. The price really went down. Like the price really went crazy. And uh, yeah, so the this this kind of price moving from one place to the next in just a few hours, it's most 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 of the time it is cause of news. So um it's hardly you can hardly see GBP Audi acting this way, but um if you know what to look for, this can be good way of making even more profits. So on our on one hour time frame, all we can see is that um price action is being made. We have uh, low highs and low lows, and then uh there is a price action of a sell continuation. So we will just put our box. Um we'll put our box. Where is our box? So we put our box like that. And then from here, we can be able to uh, to be on watch on what can be, uh, what will happen after the markets open. And for me, I think this price can go down to 73. It is very, very possible the price to go down rather than going back. What I'm expecting for the week is the price either to go down to go uh, to create a price action that is showing us the trend is still on and the sellers are still uh, they're still uh, the price action then the sellers are still in control and then we can look for a sell opportunity or it can start creating a high lows and a high high and maybe an indication of a, tr a trend change and a reversal of all these things so we'll be look we'll be on look on <sighs> What the trade will be so yeah that is it that's how i analyzed my chart and um as long as the key okay first of all i would want to point out that like this is a call out that if the price break our 50 ma break 50 ma If our fifth break 50 ma we wait if it uh, if at all it will retest if it retests that's when we enter our trade if it just hits the 50 ema if it just hit it will if it rejects we uh the 50 ma will uh will be acting as the resistance and we have seen in the past if i zoom if i zoom this place what happened the buyers were coming in but when they came to the 50 ema they were like the sellers were more powerful and the price was went down and as you can see everywhere they were hitting the 50 ema uh the price was really being pushed so guys that is all uh if i can magnify this on 15 minutes let's say it has hit this um or we just go to 15 minutes on this box and try to magnify. You can see it has started to create uh, like a tight consolidation because yes, it's it's creating high lows, but it's not creating high highs because this high is not higher than this, but it is creating high lows. So I think what the price here does it's a tight consolidation like this a tight consolidation and then it will consolidate somewhere here and it can either break upwards or downwards all we need to do to be able to be on the right side it it's to wait for price action and to really know if the price is above the moving over the um ema 50 we are looking for buy if the price is below the 50 ema we are looking for a sell and let me show you a buying a buy oh let's go back to one hour so we have said if the price is below uh it's below uh 50 ema the price is above 50 ma we are looking for but you can see the price was going down then it broke it became above the 50 ma it's a it's an uptrend if it goes down it's a sell it's a downtrend you can see here this market seems so much overstretched you can see here all this downside 
which I'm so positive the trend will continue. The trend shall continue. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have learned something. If you want me to do the video for the 50 MA, the 14 moving average and the 8 moving average, comment down below. And until next time, bye-bye. Love you.